Apex Nation, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. Hope you guys are having a good day today. So, some things have changed, but not a lot. We have some cows around here. I attempted to make a farm over here, and I wanted to grow a lot more stuff to get food going. But then I realized, you know, watering sucks. And pipe, oh my god, we can run over here and take a look real quick. Piping ain't cheap. <laughs> It takes a lot of resources to do this. And I use not all because I have a lot more stuff now to show you in a little bit. But I crap, it's over nighttime. That's all I, uh, this is this is my piping. I I have to go up from here, but this is like a test. I made all the piping I can make. And now I gotta go up and go that way. But I'm thinking of making my farm like right here anyway. Cause I, when I use my farm, you know. It becomes, you know, you have to defend it. So, I'll have to defend my farm here. I, if you could remove these trees, I'd put it right here. But you can't. So, you got to pick a nice little clear and it should be over there. But, oh, where'd it go? There it is. I just wanted to test if I was using pipes in this. How would it work? And it works. The other thing I wanted to take a look at. Actually, I'll take all that. And let you do your thing. But I was also thinking maybe I don't need to pipe water to the base and maybe I can also have everything over here. Possibly. I'm not sure. We'll take a look in a second because I want to try maybe messing around with the pumps. The water pumps. Because then I could find a nice little clearing around here and use it. Also, this thing has been doing great work. As you can see, I only got 108 metal in here, but I got plenty of stone now. I only have 108 metal in there because I used a lot of it. This is the vehicle. Before I just gloss over this. This is just... It's a starting design. I ran out of stone. I was building out of stone. I ran out of stone, but now I have plenty of stone. And I just used some wood just to get an idea of what to do. I realize I need to upgrade these engines because they take so much freaking gas. So much gas. Just to break down those rocks, which also... Rocks? Oh, I'll show you guys over there when the daytime shows up. Uh, rocks are a pain in the butt. So I tried to do like a pickup thing. That was my idea. And again, I'm just messing around. I think this will change. This will just go up against the end. I, I don't like this little front bumper type thing I made. I thought it'd be better pushing this away, but it's not. Also, I think I want to drop it down by one block. Yeah, I do. I want to bring that down one block. So if it's there, I'd actually have to bring it down. Yeah, it's fine. And this is my wheel setup. I tried to have the wheels under the vehicle, but it it, it was too high and top heavy. It seems like on the side is best. And I have them sticking one out, which you do not need. You can have them butted up against. But I kind of like the look of them being one out. And the thing fits in the back of this. The collector does fit in the back of... I see you over there. It fits in the back of this with a couple room for like a couple more chests in here. But that's not what I'm going to do. I do want a vehicle to like travel around with a bunch of chests in there. And just, you know have to go adventuring because we're going adventuring today when daytime shows up i see all of you but i saw yesterday a really cool design for a tree cutter i have yet to see a good design for a mine a rock crusher hi cow but basically you take this setup and put it on a vehicle so you have your collection uh crates you have your whatever this thing was called Refinery guy. What? Why do you have 50 in your output? You have a chest right here. Take him. Put him up here. Why did you not do that? And then you put a chest there as well. And then that way you can just use your vehicle, chop down trees. It's a really good design for trees that I probably will use. And then try to make it look cool as well. And that way it all just picks up as you go and you refine. But rocks are a pain in the butt. So I want to take a look at, and also I saw a really cool system where all this fed into each other. So your output and input were one and the same, which was pretty cool. And they did it with chess. You could do it with piping, I guess. Like I could bring piping all the way around, bring it back into there. So these two chests continuously loop. So whatever my output is also becomes my input. So I don't got to go in here, take all, which I have a bunch of gasoline, by the way, because it takes so much freaking gasoline. Also got a lot more metal in here. And some glue because I was running out of glue. Although I have 
metal in here, do I not? I did not put metal in there. Oh. Um, just take a stack and throw that stack into there. Water, I just wanted to have the water. I hear you guys. What are you doing? What's happening? It's like there's a raid or something. Oh my god. What the crap is happening here? They're going crazy! Hey, I could use the uh, electronics though. Did I stun him? The circuit boards are welcome. What was I making that requires circuit boards? I think pipes require circuit boards. Also, I would like more heads. I want to see if we can like create like a song with the heads when I get enough heads. With, like switches and maybe some delays, some timers and stuff like that. Maybe we can create like an entire song. Although from what I've been seeing, a lot of things are the render distance or uh, active active chunks aren't the best. How many circuit boards do I have in here? I have a lot of circuit boards in there. I think I'm full up on these chests too. I gotta upgrade my stuff to a higher tier chest. I've just been using the basic boys. Only because things are expensive. But, okay, so what did I want to take a look at? I wanted to take a look at this today, but I need more beeswax. I mean, using like all the wax I get, but I have everything else for it. Which is nice. Yeah, you require circuit boards for the vacuum pipes. Don't think I'm going to be using those as much as I've been thinking I was going to use them. Although this is nice too. Oh, I need that metal. Okay, there's a reason to keep that metal then. All right. That's not a big deal. But I want to mess with this. Connect it to a water container. Water container. So I can make a few water containers. And just, it depends on how this works. I don't know how easy this would be. But that that farms for a different time, not for now times. And then the cookbot here to cook veggie burgers. I have four in my inventory. Not a lot of stuff because we gotta work on the farms. I have milk on me. I have all that on me. I think we can go adventuring. What? Up? Wait, I have no gas on me. We got, we're definitely gonna redesign the vehicle. It's not the uh, end all design for the vehicle. But I also wanted to talk about how much. Uh, can I just do... Nope. Okay. Do that. And I can't have this in full power because it starts pulling a wheelie and stuff. I probably should bring those wheels back. But I kind of want it to be a little different. I don't know. I was playing around with the design. I said we we're going to do that in today's episode, but I realized how much that was... How long that was going to take. And then I got messing around with the designs and then I ended up just doing it. These rocks. Rocks that are on a hill like this... Don't waste your time. It took me way too long to do that. Go find a rock that is not like that. What are you? Are you stone or metal? Stone. I'll leave you. Alright. Is this uh, honey available? Yes, or beeswax stuff. So yeah, don't, don't waste your time with that. Go find a rock that is going to be easier to collect. And you sit right there, because then I also need you to go here... You tell I've done this enough times where I know where I'm going for <laughs> everything. But I need this stuff because I want to mess around with the vacuum pump possibly at the end of the episode and see how it shoots water. I have, think I have an idea on how it shoots water. Also, I like how our headlights do not require batteries. All right, we got the sun. That's what I wanted. Is there a chest on top of that rock? There's a chest on top of that rock. That's a rock that could have... Uh, uh, the nest on it. Does this rock have nest? It does not. But it does have a chest on top of it. Which is curious. I can't... No, I, I almost had it. Okay. I want a mountain goat. Let me mountain goat. Come on. Get your Skyrim on. Fine. Eh. Soil bag? Really? Yeah! So, if I... Okay, so I saw this thing, and I now realize that that was a random chance it could have spawned it. Whoa. I didn't notice that. 
and I should have grabbed the thing when I saw it. But it would have been a long walk back. And I also learned you got to be careful in this area. Because this is where what's known as the boss. Are you going to roll? Yes, you're going to roll. Ah! Come here, fight me. Don't fight my vehicle. I don't have any repair stuff on my vehicle. Ow! That's right. You got nothing on me. Ooh, component kit. And I will take your scrap as well, wherever it went. Ooh, another component kit. Where did your arm go? Or whatever it is that pops off of you. Eh, it's gone to the nether. It's just gone. So this is a ember bio, I believe they're being called. Not too sure what they're being called. But in here, I'm not bringing my vehicle in. I came in here, I was like, ooh, I get a bunch of ember. Awesome. Or whatever this stuff is called. I don't need any more. I have a, I have too much in my chest. But as I was running around, it was nighttime, though, when I was here. That's how I ended up seeing it. Oh. There it is. I saw this. And I was like, oh, I've got to come here with everyone out, with, with all you. Are you being guarded? You are being guarded. But you're not being guarded by a big boy. Come on. There's a cage dude. Now, at first, I was thinking, like, oh, well, this is interesting. There's a cage dude. And he didn't despawn, so that's cool. I thought I can save him, and maybe, I mean, this could be a cool feature. Hint, hint. If they did add this, save him and force him to work for me. Because I can't do nothing with him. I thought you had to pick him up. I thought that this was the... Oh. I can hit him. <laughs> Great. Why can't I just pick you up? Stop, stop. I want you to go the other way. Actually, no, you can go this way. Go. Go. <laughs> He's a yo, 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 yo. I can't pick this guy up. Where's the vehicle? The vehicle's over here somewhere. There it is. So, I wonder if I had my collection thing. I'm willing to bet that's how you do it. There you go. Come with me. It's just this is not the way. So we have this little dude. I bet if I had my collection, he would go into the collector. Uh, I should go get it. Let's go get it. And come right back. Okay. Well, I realized I was on the run recording setting. So hopefully you guys saw all that without it being too jumpy. I realized it probably was a little bit jumpy. And I also didn't talk about my vehicle. My vehicle is all-wheel drive. No, wait. Is it? Yeah, it's all-wheel drive and all-wheel steering. I have both in this beast. It just makes turning so much better. All right, where are you? There you are. We got our little collector. That's not what I meant to do. Do you go into this? You don't. Go into it! What am I supposed to do? I mean, I can bring him back to the base. I know what we're supposed to do with this guy. We're supposed to trade him in. And we can get, he's like one of the requirements for the uh, potato gun. So now I gotta smack this guy all the way back. <laughs> it's kind of fun. 
All right, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring this guy all the way back to base, and we'll figure out a way to transport him. I think all I gotta do is like put my truck on a hill and smack him into the back of that truck, and he'll get in there. But I don't have the. I don't have the location yet to bring this guy. Why are you running? Ow! You tricked me. Get smacked. Oh come on, man! What you drop a component for? All right, I'll be back. And we're back. Uh, nope. I smacked it a couple times. I didn't mean to smack it a couple times. And I just throw you over there. Also, there's a head. And there's a head. Is that a head? And that's a head. At least from the dudes I fought over there. Oh, is that a head? No, those are my boot guts. Mm. It could be from the dudes I fought over there. And I got a little guy over here. Just chilling now. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't got a lot of heads. I want more heads. Oh. No. There you go. Uh, I can throw you in there, you in there. Do I have all the stuff now I need to make? You? I do. Okay. You craft. While you craft, we go check out the other thing I wanted to go check out. Yeah, let's go. Whee! Can I kill him by hitting him? Die! Nope. I even turned on my... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, think of my jiggers. By think of my jiggers, I mean... Uh, sauce. So these two buildings I go resource gather from. Oh, and that building over there. I've already been through all this. But that sign right there is one of the things I wanted to go check out. And then there's a road there. Oh, God. You saw, we just put fuel in this thing. This thing just guzzles just fuel. It needs to be upgraded. So I wanted to check out this. I, I know what it is. And then I need to go find the dude who uses this stuff. It's another ember forest over there. So this is a packing plant. What you do is you have to bring whatever in a chest with a cannon, which we have one. We could build another one. And then you back it up into this area and you shoot them in here. So like tomatoes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tomatoes looks like. I think it's ten actually, isn't it? I'm not sure. And then, yeah, you pack them in there. Then over here, they get packed up, and then they get pooped out right over here. And then you can, then you pick them up. And you put them into your vehicle. Oh, someone spilled the blueberries. And the beets. Yeah. I just wanted to check this thing out with you guys. I was actually hoping for them to be actual resources here. Is it there? It might be there. We might go take a look over there real quick. I want to find the dude who uses this. Who actually, like, benefits from us. So we could benefit from this on potatoes. I think. Or does potatoes grow packed? Like, do you get... Because I want the spud gun. I want to be able to shoot people. I'm just taking a look around. Yeah, it's nothing spectacular around here. But yeah, I definitely want to shoot people. And all that. So I want the spud gun. So that's like the first thing we want to work towards. Alright, we need to turn around. Whee! Oh, wheel steering. It's helpful. And now let's go take a look over here. We'll take the road. Because I wonder if... This is the thing I'm thinking of. If he's over here. Uh, we're no longer taking the road. Because I don't think the road leads to this dude. I think you got to find him. And I've seen him in the mountain. It's like his hiding. His method of hiding. Yep, here he is. 
Out of the way. Beep, beep. Out of the way. So, with this guy... Which also, I believe he gives you free seeds as well. Like a glove. You bring him the things, cage dude or vegetables. You push the button. They get sucked. And they go into your, uh, you get credited for them by this guy over here. By him. What up? And we get bags. We can get fertilizer, which is one beat for ten fertilizer. That's not terrible because crafting those are annoying. Banana seeds, orange seeds, blueberry seeds, saw blades. And, like, if you don't want to resource grind, you can farm grind and get stuff, which is kind of cool. Mountable spud gun. Potato ammo container. And then spud gun, which is what I want. And spud shotgun. Spud gatling would be awesome. Clothes I don't care about. So you need two blueberries and two oranges to get a dude. Or broccoli, which I don't even know where to get. I mean, if I get the shotgun, I would get the shotgun. Or pineapples and two dudes. Okay, so I only have one dude. But pineapples, I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. That's right there. I don't think I've seen anybody grow pineapples. But two bananas and a blueberry to get a mountable spud gun. That's not bad. It doesn't require a dude. This requires a dude, and this is what I want. So we need to get blueberries, which requires us to bring beetroot in the him, And we need oranges, which requires tomatoes. So that's not bad. So tomatoes and beetroot. So we got to get into farming next. And then we could also just take, ooh, potato seeds. And carrots. Which is also important because you need two carrots per sandwich. That's cool. But yeah, we found this dude. You might be my screenshot there, buddy. Although I don't know how to get rid of... Ah, uh, I can do things. This game told me once how to get rid of the HUD, and I can't remember, and I can't find it in the settings. So who knows? Well, we need to start... Okay, no, we, we have a thing to go play with. Let's go play with the um, watering thing, and then maybe start um, uh, figuring out the farm. So I'll meet you guys over there. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?